I like NX. I'm not an expert in it, but there are a few things I like. The first is the repo visualization, uh, where you can see the graph of how your projects inside your repo relate to each other. For example, here you can see this particular project I found on GitHub. It has a bunch of circular dependencies with their NGRX folder. Um, so that's pretty great. And it's also, it also helps you have faster builds and tests because uh, it uses caching for your projects, but also it has this affected graph. So all these purple projects are uh, projects that were affected by the uh, git changes, current the current git changes in this uh, mono repo, um, and these ones were not affected. So this is not an ideally structured application, and you can see it immediately. I only changed one property on one interface, and a ton of stuff was marked as affected. So um, yeah, so it's pretty pretty great. You can get a, a you know, this is what's missing in a lot of projects. The, the big picture of what things are, how they're related to each other. Um, and then, you know, like as your project scales, the efficiency of, of the scripts is just more and more important. Um, it also has a bunch of other automation scripts too. So I'm not an expert, so I don't know everything that it does, but I like it. But the problem with NX that I've run into a lot is that a lot of projects are not in NX yet. So um, I found this great project and I have a hard time visualizing what's going on because it's not an NX. And there are VS Code extensions, but they don't work great with VS or with TypeScript for some reason. There's a good Python one, but I don't know. I thought there'd be more, but um, anyway, so one of the reasons I wanted to migrate this to NX was for the visualization, but there are other benefits. So this is the example I'm going to show. Um, you've got an app folder with a bunch of subfolders and yeah, I'm going to convert all these to libraries and I couldn't find a way to do it. Maybe, maybe there is one, but I wanted to automatically move a folder over into an NX library and couldn't find any way to do that automatically. So, I created a script with ChatGPT and it's a little janky, but I think it works. And I asked on Twitter if people knew of a better way to do it. And uh, this person's like, have you tried IntelliJ? And I asked if it knew about TS config paths. I, yeah, we'll see. Um, there may be a better way. If there is, I will comment and pin that comment. So check that in case there's a better way. This project is an Angular 17 project and I'm using node 20 and you type npn mpx nx at latest in it and that's it's getting started and I selected serve as well. Um, I'm going to say both of these are cacheable so given the given the same inputs same files the output will be the same. Um, I don't know about extract itn but I think this is good enough. Um, and remote caching, I'm going to skip that. And all right, it's done already. Let's look at the changes real quick. So it added a hidden folder and it's ignoring that. It changed Angular JSON to nx.json and it installed some packages and it's now recommending the Narwhal Angular console extension. Yeah. I got that. It also added project.json and that has a lot of the stuff that used to be in angular.json, so specific things. And because this whole thing is a new NX mono repo, um, it just took the main app and that is a project.json. When you have libraries, this file I think goes into the same folders as those libraries. I can verify that each of them is going to get its own uh, project.json because I'm going to right now run a script, my script, to move the folder over to an NX library and we'll see um, if each project gets a project.json. It should. But anyway, so I'm pasting this script in here and I'm going to call it, that, that would be a funky name. I'm not going to name it const whatever. Um, I'm going to call it 
migrate folder to lib.js. That's already there. All right, migrate folder to lib. I'll put a link to the script in the description for the video, um, but now I'm going to call it. So uh, the way you call it is node. Oops, I'm typing in the wrong window. Node, um, the name of it, migrate folder to lib. Um, and then what project? I want to do the ngrx one. So um, that's going to be source um, app ngrx. OK, great. And so that's the folder. And the name of the library comes next. And that will be um, ngrx. And the this is the next thing is the the library name or the the namespace. So organization name, I think, is what what the NX docs call this. But in in my script, this is for my script. So, but this project is going to be sci-fi, and let's see if this works. So first, it's creating an NX library, and then it's going to move everything over. Looks like it's done creating the NX library. So if we go into source libs, we've got ngrx here, and it's moved. It's moved it in here, and you might be surprised by seeing all these folders here, but these actually are in the ngrx folder. They they were originally. So we've got copies. Yeah, I'll talk about that in the next video. Not actual copies, but the same features. Code for the same features, but different code. Anyway, so you can see that it modified a lot of the folders, the other folders, when I moved ngrx over. So um, these are the same, you notice these are the exact same folders, and that's because it's changing imports. And now that guy that commented on my tweet, he said that IntelliJ probably does this automatically, but I'm not sure because, and I would love to know, like. I hope there's a better way to do this, um, but let's see what changed. Look at this, right here. It's it's putting the NX, the the TypeScript, the the alias, the prefix here. Um, the difference is, it is, it's not. It doesn't have an index file. It's it's using the same full path, and so, um, yeah. Normally in NX, when it adds a library, it just points to the index file. But what I do here is I use this, um, the star, so that every, so that all the imports can be the same after the start of it, after the initial part of the alias. And one thing you'll want to do a lot during this is restart the, the TypeScript server. Sometimes it updates automatically, but when there's a lot going on, it doesn't always update automatically. But I think in this case, the issue is that. So now we come back here. Yep. And that, that was the appropriate thing. I had to, I had to put the alias to point to the lib folder inside the library. The other thing this script does is inside the library that moves, uh, the imports that are still within that library, it leaves alone. Um, and this is an absolute import, it leaves that alone as well. And it's supposed to update the relative imports, but apparently it didn't. Well, it did, but it made a mistake. So uh, just now I went and installed WebStorm because it's made by the same people who make IntelliJ, so I thought for sure it would be able to handle this as well. But it actually did worse than VS Code. When I moved it over with VS Code, it at least updated the absolute imports. But uh, this is WebStorm result, the WebStorm results, and it didn't. It has still the old absolute paths, um, and and relative paths are also not updated. So, oh man, maybe I should. I'll try IntelliJ now. All right, well, 
I am just doing this again and again, testing these different things. IntelliJ was four gigs, so it had better know how to do this. All right, generating the NGRX library. It created a weird nested thing because Git doesn't delete folders. So I have to redo this. This looks like it's just the same as WebStorm. Yeah, it said it was refactoring. And nope, no relative imports updated. Hmm. Apparently this is a very difficult problem. Well, I eventually got here. Um, I was traveling back in my Git history to show you that stuff. My script, it there were only two imports that it didn't do right when I did it the first time. Maybe the order it ran mattered. So I'm going to go ahead and upload this video, and it's basically a call for help, I guess. If anybody sees what's wrong with the script and wants to help me fix it, this would be useful for me. This would help me create content more quickly because um, being able to show how things are changing, that's kind of important. Um, but also, yeah, I like the, I like NX. So, um, yeah, yeah, maybe the order that I migrated the libraries mattered. I don't know. I don't know. Well, that is how I migrated. Well, so there are a couple other things I needed to update a couple of SAS imports. That wasn't a big deal. Um, oh, and then those absolute paths that start with source i just i just did a find and replace project wide for those that was easy anyway so yeah if anyone has any insight in why, why this is the most difficult problem in the world uh and including what's wrong with my script that would be helpful i yeah this um it feels like this should not be hard but yeah this is um this is, this is what development is like a lot of the time. <laughs> All right. Yeah. 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 Let me know if you know of anything that could help. Thanks.